Hey there! Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Gratuitous Recipes if you'd love to learn how to make homemade gyro sandwiches. Now, let's get straight to the recipe. Homemade Greek gyros are not impossible to make at home, as I originally thought. You'll see that you can recreate these yummy Mediterranean delights in your very own kitchen. Do you and your family love gyro sandwiches from your local Greek restaurant as much as I do? Then you are in the right place because you are going to be very happy to learn that you can make gyros in your very own kitchen that tastes like they do from that of a restaurant. One problem many families have is balancing after school activities and having time for a healthy dinner. Besides crockpot dinners, another option is freezing meals. Freezing some foods is definitely a put off because of how they taste when defrosted. But others are perfectly suited to the freezer. Luckily, gyros are in the latter category. How do you pronounce gyros in America? Before we go any further, let's deal with the pronunciation of the Greek word. I'm not Greek, but saying gyro just sounds like saying bruschetta for bruschetta to me. Find my step-by-step -step baklava recipe below. It's not difficult, I promise. Homemade gyros, a delicious crowd pleaser. When my kids were younger, their favorite restaurant was Daphne's, a Greek restaurant chain. They served such tasty options and compared to other fast food chains were much healthier too. I made gyros with a box mix of spices many years ago, but it wasn't anything to write home about. Last year, however, I discovered Alton Brown's recipe for homemade gyro sandwiches, which I had such rave reviews. I decided to give it a try. It wasn't difficult to make. In fact, I was surprised at how few ingredients were in the meat mixture. I have to tell you though, the flavor was fantastic. My family devoured them. I was elated over accomplishing yet another feat in the kitchen, making homemade gyros that tasted great. If you own a rotisserie, you could use it with this recipe. But since most people don't, I've shown the alternate method. Pita bread for the gyro sandwich. You'll want to buy the soft, thick Greek pita bread for gyro sandwiches. However, you can always make my fried bread dough, which is absolutely delicious and is great paired with this meat. Gyro meat freezes perfectly. Unless you're having a large group for dinner, this recipe makes a lot of homemade gyros. However, this is not a problem. Just freeze the leftover meat right after slicing it. The pita freezes perfectly too. Imagine having delicious homemade gyros on a weeknight, a quick salad, and dinner's ready. Here is my version of Alton Brown's recipe, as I made some changes, mainly with the ingredients, beef and lamb versus just lamb. I also added a step to make them more crisp, which imitates the rotisserie method quite nicely. 